I'm Hazel Hazel, my channel is Chewing Sand. It uh, kind of started out mostly vlogs, and then it turned into sort of filmmaking and uh, comedy sketches and stuff. And now I sort of have a couple of regular series, which is like a monthly documentary vlog style thing called Time of the Month, which is just my life. Um, another is Tipsy Talk, which is basically getting drunk with people and talking. The one I'm probably proudest of is Amy Schumer. Why do you love me? <laughs> if you're into short films and comedy sketches and that kind of stuff, then there's a bunch of them. I usually kind of veer towards um, sci-fi and horror. Wait! What? What, are you just gonna jump straight in with amputation? Really? I'm sorry. I, I've, I've just thought... It's just... I figured we'd warm up to that, you know? You just got here. I don't even know your name. I feel they came to me and were like, Hazel, can you think of the biggest, most exciting thing you could ever possibly do? And tell us what that is and we're going to make that possible. And I said, I'd like to shoot a video in space. And they said no. Uh, <laughs> I really wanted to focus on film because that's something that I'm really passionate about. Um, so it was great to work with the team because what I was able to do was come to them with um, a rough idea of what I wanted to try and achieve. It's uh, called The 12 Scenes of Christmas. It's essentially kind of an homage to 12 iconic Christmas films, a lot of which are my favorite Christmas films. And what we do is in one take, we recreate 12 iconic scenes from the films and we sort of, you see it all on camera, you see us move from one to the next to the other with costume changes and art department changes and from one set to the next. So it's really busy and exciting. One of the craziest pieces of this, which isn't totally always captured on camera, but is like the ghost behind everything, is the choreography of it. The big pieces were getting the movement to work with the costume changes, to work with the art department changing, because those are really the things that you see happening on screen. Even things that are off camera are tightly being choreographed. We rehearsed it and it worked. <laughs> um, Hazel's amazing. We were like a match made in heaven. I think in terms of technicality, it's a wonderful life is probably my favorite because we were trying to figure out how to desaturate that. We wanted it to look like a black and white film and we were thinking about ways to do that. We were going to do it maybe practically with makeup or try and do it on set. Um, and eventually Anna had an incredible idea to use a monitor on set and kind of pan to that, which we did. I'm so used to being writer, director, producer, actress. So having to do this remotely and kind of trust other people to, to do what they did and they did a great job was difficult for me. But what was great about this and what's always my favorite bit is when you finally get to set and you're there and you see all the cogs come into place and you see the art department and costume and makeup and camera and lighting and the directors and the writers and the production team and just everyone comes together and there's a moment when you kind of stand on set and go, I did this. And see, here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. All right. Hi, Bridget here. To see the one take Christmas spectacular, click that box on the left and try to guess all 12 films. If you've already seen it, well, you're in luck because we also released a moving short film, Field Day Brings You, The Sea Is Blue, a moving stop motion film featuring a young girl falling overboard at sea and exploring the ocean depths. We would like to wish everyone a magnificent end to 2015 and we'll see you in January with new videos from Andrew Wang and Mystery Guitar Men. See you then.